Uh, I want to talk a little bit about recovery information. That's a question we last left with, and it's a frustrating one for all of us. Uh, over 80%, if not more, of folks who have this virus are at home and are not tested. They have mild enough illness that they do not require hospitalization. And at this point, we can't identify those, a uh, very, very small subset of them. Um, and, and we know that many of them have, have potentially recovered at this point, that the onset of the first illness for our first case was around early February. So we know folks in that category have recovered. But at this point, uh, we just have the data of those we knew. Uh, interestingly, we can take a little bit of a look Starting April 1st, we have a new ICD code, which is a code that actually codes for coronavirus. We have new data coming soon that will give us better insight into the hospitals. We still haven't, it actually just began to be collected today. But we do know that 303 of our cases uh, that have been hospitalized, um, discharged, 25% of them um, have now reached that period of recovery. So it's a, a small number. Uh, it's a, really a shot in the dark. I know folks really want to see those recovery numbers, as do we, because obviously our whole goal is to move all of us to that place of recovery and get us back to life as, as we want to return. Uh, but know that we are working on that. Once we have serologic testing, we'll get better and better able to do that once we have widespread testing. Uh, we will start to give you some of that recovery information, even though it's asterisked and as imperfect as it is, we will be putting that on our website so anyone can see it who is interested.